Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I would like to share with all of you a message given by St. Michael the Archangel to Gisela Cardia on August 3, 2023. Before listening to the message, I would like to invite all of you to pray this prayer with me, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ to guide us and give us the grace of knowing the truth. With trust and confidence, please join me in say, O most loving Jesus, goodness beyond understanding and power infinite, thank you for loving me so much to the point of dying for me and for giving me so many graces and gifts. O most loving Savior, I implore thee to help me that I may always love thee above all things and trust in thee at all times. I beseech thee to deliver me from the many treacherous lies and deceitful words of false prophets and teachers. But most of all, guide me and help me to always be vigilant and careful so that I may never be deceived. Amen. Message by St. Michael the Archangel to Gisela Cardia on August 3, 2023. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, my sword remains aloft not only as a sign of protection and defense for humanity but as a sign that human beings must aspire to be spiritual. The devil is constantly striving to lead you astray and is presenting you with a world that is always the same, putting on a mask so that you would not see the truth but a distorted moment of reality. The peoples will rise up against their rulers, and revolts will become more constant. Violence will become customary, and man is becoming entrenched in evil, and chaos is coming. Religion will be undermined, and society dulled. They will impose a single religion, and people will turn against one another over the single religion. Persecutions will even come within families. Spain, France, England, Germany, and Poland will be attacked. They will be betrayed not by foreigners but by those to whom those nations have given shelter. Freedom has been reduced to an idea so that man would resign himself to not having freedom, to not thinking and not acting, but to letting other brothers decide about his life. This time is turning like the blades of a windmill without being seen, just as the wind keeps the blades in motion, so it is at the moment. The wind of evil keeps evil minds in constant motion with evil constantly acting upon humanity. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you must change now if you wish to save your soul. You must be closer to our King and Lord Jesus Christ and our Queen and Mother so that the Divine Hand would sustain you and the love of our Queen and Mother draw you to the open side of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Stay alert, you are heading towards the fulfillment of grave and great events already known to you through the revelations. Beloved, so that love would strengthen you and keep you within the works and actions of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, the sun will become aggressive towards man, with man changing Earth's climate. Pray, technology is in danger due to the sun. Pray, humanity is in danger due to the advancement of those who hold power. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, keep the faith at all times. Being creatures of faith causes my legion's protection for you to be maintained. Convert, beloved children of our Queen and Mother, who is guiding the Angel of Peace before his appearance in defense of mankind. Keep inner peace so that you would be enlightened by the Most Holy Trinity. I bless you, beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Saint Michael the Archangel. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary of Gisela Cardia, brothers and sisters, our beloved Saint Michael the Archangel always accompanies us. He puts us on spiritual alert, and on a global level, he calls us to change, not without first making it clear to us that what is important is for us to decide, saying yes or no. Let us remain mindful of our King and Lord Jesus Christ and our Blessed Mother. We are protected by God's hand. Let us walk with confidence, fulfilling the divine word. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, 
thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King and our Admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue. Deliver us from all evil. We turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To thee do I come before thee, I stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage. Also, through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us also recite the act of contrition together to ask God for forgiveness over all the mortal, venial, and public sins which we have committed, that he may grant us the grace to feel remorseful over all these sins, bring us to true repentance, and give us the necessary graces to do all the penances in atonement for our sins and to never commit these grievous sins anymore. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching, and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.